Welcome back to the Sports Max Zone. India captain Virat Kohli and his wife Anushka Sharma are expecting their first child, and Kohli has asked for and been granted paternity leave by the Board of Control for Cricket in India (BCCI). BCCI Secretary Jay Shah says the 32-year-old has been cleared to leave the India setup after the first test against Australia in Adelaide in December. Cricket commentator and journalist Harsha Bogle applauded Bogle applauded Kohli on Twitter, saying Australia head coach Justin Langer also praised Kohli's decision. This is what Harsha Bogle said. Expectedly so many reactions to Kohli's decision. Yes, the tour will get tougher because he's a great player, but we have to respect his decision. Becoming a parent is very special. Here's Langer now. Justin Langer, he says, Virat Kohli is probably the best player I've ever seen in my life for so many reasons. Not only batting, but his energy and passion for the game, the way he feels. I cannot believe he displays the energy he does in everything he does, and I've got so much respect for him. I've also got respect for him in the sense of that he's made this decision to return to India for the birth of his child. He's a human being like all of us. If I was giving advice to any of my players, I would always say never ever miss the birth of your children because it is one of the great things you'll ever do. Well, joining us now to give a woman's perspective on the matter of paternity leave is Olympic silver medalist, Juliet Cuthbert. Welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. And hooray for her Colia, hooray for you. Juliet, what's your take on, of course, the importance of having a father during childbirth? I think it's very important, and I think this is a good step in the right direction, what we're seeing happening um, in the world now. Years ago, we would actually possibly scoff at something like this, and I think maybe yeah. in some places, people are still um, trying to accept that um, there is such a thing as paternity leave. Um, but I think it's so important um, for the for both parents to have a role, especially when a child is, when you have a newborn, it is a great responsibility. And I think um, whenever a male can um, have an impact on the child's life in the first few weeks, I think it's very important. You know, many people are opposed, especially men, because earlier today I was in a heated discussion with a uh, male and of course he was saying so i'm the provider she's the provider both of us are going to spend some time with this child and what happens who makes money well i think he would have worked that out and i think um it comes down to the family um the husband and wife or persons living together to make such a decision to find out if they can afford it um while the mother may stay home for longer taking care of the baby i think for the father maybe you know, eight weeks taken off two months would not be such a drain on their finances. And so that is something that I think the couple, whoever is going to do it, would have to actually have a look at and see if financially they can take such a break. Mrs. Cuthbert Flynn, uh, we should also tell the viewers, remind those who don't know, know though, that you are now a two-term member of parliament representing West Rural St. Andrew in the House of Representatives in Jamaica. And it is your legislative hat that I want you to answer this question with. Because do you think, look, there's been a lot of, 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 of social media chatter around Virat Kohli's situation. And I'm saying, well, this thing should be normalized. And you know very well that you normalize things by legislating them. Do you think that paternity leave should be something that the developed and the developing world should look to normalize in their respective countries by a stroke of the legislative pen? Yes, I think so. Um, I think it's time. I think um, our Honorable Minister Delroy Chuck mentioned it in the House of Parliament. Um, of course, we know our situation here in Jamaica is quite dynamic um, with quite a number of men fathering many, many children. And then you have to figure out how many, um, you know, how many times you'd probably give the for paternity. And so we have to really look at that legislatively um, and, and figure that out to see how we would want to do. And I think in any jurisdiction, they would possibly sit down and look at their situation and then make the law accordingly. Yeah, because I could tell you that last year it was announced, and this is the context in which Delroy, uh, Chuck, the Justice Minister spoke at that Rotary function. He's, he, he, 
Before he spoke, it was announced that telecommunications providers flow, they had introduced paternity leave for their male staff, whether you are the biological father or you are the foster father, and also cigarette manufacturers, Carreras introduced paternity leave as well, and you spoke of men with multiple children. Uh, Carreras, their policy says that you get three weeks per child if you are, the, the, the fathers get three weeks per child. So I'm saying with companies, individual companies already making these moves, Mrs. Cuthbert, Flynn, it gives the government an idea of what could work if you are legislating this thing. And I'm saying I want it to be legislated so that it's not an employer doing you a favor to say, oh, what? Okay, Mr. Davis, I'm going to give you paternity leave and you have to celebrate. Oh, my God, you're such a good employer. You're giving me paternity leave. I want it to be a right enshrined in law. And I agree with you. I totally agree with you. And I think we should move in that direction as quickly as possible. I think, um, as you said, Carreras, when I read, they are giving, um, you know, uh, um, they've made a stance as to how long they will give their paternity leave. And I think um, we can just ask, just like any other law before you pass it, you have a joint select committee, you invite persons, you invite companies to come in and give their point of view because they ultimately will be the people um, who will be actually, you know, giving these um, time off for fathers. And so I think um, the time is right. I think we should do it now and not delay this because I think, you know, it helped me as a mother with my husband taking time off to stay home um, with or my last child, Zara. And so I think it helps and we could afford it and we did it. And so, you know, it was of tremendous help for me um, the second time around to have someone at home helping out and, you know, understand that emotionally women go through quite a lot um, when they um, give birth to a child. And so for be there with, with you, helping you out, it is of tremendous help. So I think we should push this through. Um, Juliet, we and Lewis here. Uh, how are you doing? Congratulations on your second victory. Let me go there first. But listen, listen, I heard you talk about the importance of the father bonding with a child in the first two weeks. I've always thought that the husband being there for the, the, the birth of the child is always about the moral support and the emotional support that the wife will have her husband beside her. Because I witnessed the, the, the birth of my daughter, and I'm telling you, it affected me for about nine months. And I said, I would never do that again in my life because I might never recover. So is it that important where you need the moral support and the emotional support with the husband being there to give you security rather than it's about this, you know, bonding with the child for the first two weeks? You know, I remember you saying that, <laughs> um, how that affected you um, years ago. But um, it should be both. Um, you know, I think it can be both. It depends on the situation. I think I, you know, for me, it helped me emotionally. Um, it, it helped me in a lot of just the work around the house and things to do. And so I think it really depends on the individual situation, on the, the family. Wow, I think we would have lost the connection there with Mrs. Cuthbert, Cuthbert Flynn, uh, 1990. Oh, she's right. Uh, Mrs. Cuthbert Flynn, are you hearing us, Juliet? I am hearing you, but I think there's a, there was a break in transmission. Yeah, just wrap up the point because we're almost at the end, so we're giving you a chance to wrap up the point. Right, so I, I think it's both. I think it really depends on the situation, the couple situation, where, where the, whatever need that they are aspiring for, whether it's emotional, um, support um, or just uh, assist um, with whatever is happening in the home. So I think it really depends on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Juliet Cuthbert, we lost your signal just at the end, but we heard pretty much what you had to say and uh, we appreciate your uh, contribution. And I'm watching your record, your, your, your conduct in the parliament very carefully to see when this thing comes up again, how you vote. You say you are voting to support, you are minded to support it, and we hope that your words translate into action. That's the legislator, the two-term now member of parliament for West Rural St. Andrew in Jamaica, and the double Olympic silver medalist, Juliet Cuthbert Flynn. Now, team, uh, Wayne Lewis, you said that you were traumatized by... Yes. <laughs> you know, one of the things That's that happened... Fun. With, 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 with my daughter, for instance, when she was born, we were actually, my wife and I were expanding our home at the time. So of course with construction, you couldn't have a newborn 
in the house. And so she had to leave the hospital in St. Andrew and be relocated immediately to our aunt's place in Prairie in St. Anne. Right. So that was for the first three months. So the first three months, I could only go on the weekend. So I wasn't there every day and it was, it was, it was, it almost damaged everything because of the fact that... The, the, I, I remember I went there one Saturday and she was just crying continuously and you could see the, 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 my wife was... She didn't know what else to do. And I had to take her and she eventually fell asleep on my yeah. chest after a long time. She was crying as if there was no tomorrow. So, I'm, I, so I know how important it is to be there in those situations. Our situation meant it wasn't ideal to start with, right. but we've lived past that. With the exception of actually watching the birth itself. You know, you could stay outside and once the baby is born, then no, you can give all the support think, at home. I mean, I've never had a child before, but I think that the men should be um, equally there because yes. you see how you know what it looks like. So I'm saying you make You'll it have my a point. lot more respect respect now for what women go through. You are through. making my point. And on that point, we're going to go to break. <laughs>